Well, hello, everybody. This is Bishop R.S. Walker. I just wanted to touch bases with each and every one of you. Thank you so very much, Daryl and Maria Roberts. It's been it's been a tremendous pleasure working with uh, working with you guys as we continue this assignment of really bringing people into the next place of wealth, their next wealthy place. Now, some of the things that we actually do with this powerful this powerful program called VM Direct, there are several several things that we actually do with it. Uh, one of the things that we actually uh, that we actually use this program to do, let's start with video email. Let's start with video email. One of the things that we do, if we have someone, say we have someone that have not been to church in a while, one of the things we do is send them a video email. Let them know that they really have been missed in church on today. And we give the, and and I personally send this video email out. And so what I'm doing is really sharing <clears throat> with them a briefing of what the service was about on that given on that given day and then not only am I sharing that with them but I'm letting them know you know uh, I'm pouring out my heart to them letting them know how we how much we miss them and and we and we really trust that they are that they're not sick or anything like that or if they are sick we're giving them a very special message I may I may add a prayer in with it so when they pop open their email and they tap on this they tap on this video email from their pastor coming directly from the desk and the heart of their pastor they are tremendously encouraged we had one person that really made the statement as uh as one of our members watched the video email at work that I sent to her because we hadn't seen her in a little bit. One of her co-workers walked by and say, wow, your pastor sent you a video email. I wish my pastor would send me a video email. And, you know, and that really touched my heart because I saw how important it really is for for pastors to come face to face with their members. Another another powerful aspect of this that we actually use every single Sunday every every single week we use we use the uh web streaming and webcasting the opportunity to come into people's homes wherever they are wherever they have uh, wherever they have internet access we're able to come right face to face with them uh, they're able and they're able to come right in into a live service already in motion where they're able to get in on the service hear the word of God and, and see, their, see their man of God wherever they are in the world or maybe it's one of our business partners that are somewhere else in the world uh, in the states or out, or out of the country when they have internet access they tap into what we're actually what what out what we're actually doing in our live service now let's say for instance like in our midweek service or our school of the prophets one of the things they're able to do is type their question in my my tech will get that question to me we answer their question live i cannot tell you how this has impacted our school of the prophets now going over going over in many different parts of the world is just going out there because people see that they're able to get the live training that they that they have been missing because they're not over in the on the east coast or in the maryland area where we are since they're not there they're accessing this i mean just all over the world um north south and east no, north north south east and west of this of this world they're actually getting in on uh they're actually getting in on what we're actually doing now in a, in addition to that people want to really give when people when you're sharing life with people then what, one of the things that they want to do they want to give when you when our members when our members are sick they're able to tune into these services and they want to give they want to give their tithes they want to give their offerings so here's what i do Tell them, tap on the banner right above my head. That banner is now going to take them to our website where they can scroll down, hit tap on, make a donation, and they are giving their tithes and offerings right in this same service with everybody else giving their, giving their offerings. This has been, I cannot tell you 
how powerful this video this video opportunity has actually been now goes goes just a bit further now we have a mentoring program that's set up uh, which is called borrow the mind of your leader where wish where I am sharing I am sharing the process of tapping into the next level of the next level of understanding, the next level of revelation, different things like that. And so we are using the marketing that we're using F5 marketing so that when we put together, when we put together F5 marketing, we're able to, we're able to share with them in text. We're able to share with them in text exactly how I have developed from, from ground level to where I am now. We're, and we just happen to be using this with church and with business. Um, and so we're sharing with them exactly how I've developed from this place to this. Now, we plug in a video. We plug in a video in there so that they would know what this week's or what this month's uh, overall mentoring program is designed to bring them. So now I'm looking right into their face. They're looking on the screen, seeing me and share and I'm sharing with them exactly what this overall process is going to is going to bring them. So that's F5 marketing, that's video email, you know, and the list goes on in terms of what you can in terms of what you can really do with this powerful program. Now, if that doesn't top it off, let me close it out with this. If that doesn't top it off, when when I realize, when I realize that that we had this powerful opportunity to get the word of God to all of our people, whether they're in town or out of town, regardless of whether they are partners, uh, whether they're in town or out of town, we're able to get this powerful word to them. Here's what really topped the cake. When, when I saw, and I know how many people I'm connected with, and when I saw that, when I saw that there was a component that will a money making component that was able to now bring us into bring us in on the profits of what this company brings in there this is able to bring us in on the profits of that i i thought man this is a no brainer when people see that i'm advertising when my when my pastor friends see that i'm advertising when my school sees what i'm how i'm advertising when my business partners all over the all over the world you know uh people that i know in business that that have real estate businesses that have mortgage businesses that have uh that have uh auto dealerships, different things like that. When they see, they know all of the money they're spending in advertisement. And when I tell them what I'm what I'm investing in advertisement as well as doing this thing, using this for ministry, it is a no brainer. They already understand I've got to get in on this. And now understand this, when people see that I'm doing it, they tap on the link that says that they want to do it too. I get paid when a when somebody decide that they want to do this by way of just being a customer I get paid when a business partner comes in I get paid so so it becomes a no-brainer and so it brings it it funnels in a level of of level of revenue in the ministry and into my pocket as well it brings in a level of revenue now not only that but it also assists some of those some of those um, members of our church that want to that want to set goals and build their income I share it with them and this is a this is a way that they can actually pay off some extra bills or if they want to be aggressive with this they can actually do this full time and so you have to understand that and I'll close it out with this. You have to understand that when, when I look at what God said to Moses, when they wanted water, when they wanted, when they wanted, uh, uh, they wanted something to eat, you gotta get this. When I understand the words of God, I then look at things around me. Or when I understand what the prophet said to the woman, um, when I understand that he says, what hast thou in the house? When I understand what God said to Moses, what's the rod in your hand? I realize that we have to 